Hey there, I'm Shy Fox, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to switch your Clip Studio Paint license from one device to another. You can also do this with a Clip Studio subscription plan from one device to another. The good news is this is fairly easy to do and you won't need access to the original device if you no longer have it. I wanted to have a newer version on my PC and have the older license on my laptop. My goal was to move version two of my license uh, that I had onto my laptop and buy a separate license with version four and get that onto my desktop. I have an iPad subscription as well. So this is a third device that I have that I wanted to be unchanged, but I'll address that too, because we will want to also know how to move a subscription uh, plan as well to a device if that's necessary. So I have three devices. So to move a license from one device to another, we're going to start by opening Clip Studio. This is Clip Studio, different than the paint program we know as Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so we're going to make sure we're logged in. I'm already logged in. And then we're going to go to where you can see your licenses and your subscriptions in Clip Studio. So we're going to click activation code. And then we just go to manage plans. So these are my current licenses and my one subscription. And I have since, yes, bought version four. You can get to this page also by clicking on the squares up in the top and then use activation code and manage plans again so you can get there. If for some reason there's a license you bought that's not showing up here, you may need to activate it. So you can just scroll down to the bottom and then just enter activation code, or I guess buy one if you need to buy one. Now that you can see all of your plans and licenses, we need to install the version you want to use on your new device. This is essentially the answer to the question. In order to switch your license from one device to another, you will need to have that Clip Studio version of the license that you want uh, to be installed on your computer. So my goal was to get version two onto my laptop. And the current version was whatever trial version of Clip Studio Paint this was. And it, so it's essentially a downgrade. So I need to go same page. We're on the manage plans page and we can see the um, download button for version two. So I want this one. So I'm going to download. That's what I did. Downloaded it and then the plan then is to uninstall the current version. So this is downloading, let that download. We can't install it right away, just let it download. We need to uninstall this version though. So we then go and we uninstall it, both Clip Studio and Clip Studio Paint. I do it in the order of Clip Studio Paint and then Clip Studio, just because I think that's better for uninstalling. And then once you've uninstalled that, you can find that download of that version you're needing. So for me, version two install that one now. And then on the other hand, if you're not downgrading or getting an older version, uh, rather maybe you're upgrading um, the version you're using, you will just download the update. And this is what I did later on my other computer. I just upgraded it. You can click download, same spot. So download, go through the process of updating it to the new version. And then the final step, now that we have the correct version that we're intending to match the license we want to use, we click draw. Now, normally this will open Clip Studio Paint. If everything's already set up, it would just open Clip Studio Paint. Well, in this case, it will prompt a dialog box that will then get you to tell it which license you're using. The first time I did this, um, I did it wrong actually. I accidentally chose my iPad subscription and um, deactivated it off my iPad and got it on my laptop. And then I realized quickly, oh, that was the wrong one. So I had to go back to my iPad and get the license back on there and switch the license back. Just so you know, you can't switch licenses back and forth infinitely. There's a limit. It's just so, you know, cause that would be a workaround to have just one license. So anyway, you can't do that. 
So then I went back to my laptop and then figured out, oh, I clicked the wrong one. This is the one we need to click, my version two. So version two gets installed and then it will work for you. And then on my PC, I had updated my Clip Studio to version four. So I was able to then press draw, go through the steps, to then choose version four. And so that is how I switched them and also had the new version four on my computer. Well, I hope that was helpful. If it was, then you can like, subscribe, comment, whatever it is that you would like to do. All right, happy painting. See you in the next video.